Hello, uh, today you will learn how to use transparent sprites. Of course this tutorial will work only with TFT display supported by TFT SPI library. In this tutorial I'm using this T display S3 development board, but this will work on any TFT display. I already made few examples where I used transparent sprites. You are watching them right now. You can find those examples on my YouTube channel. Links are in description. This video is not scripted, so in this video you will hear my clumsy English. Like always. Okay, let's start. Here I have empty basic sketch so we included our TFT SPI library we have TFT object init function we rotated our display we will draw images so we will need this set swap byte true function and whole screen is filled black <laughs> on this side of screen you can see results okay let's try to find some image I will go to site called icon archive I will search for arrow this one will be fine and I will choose size for example 96 by 96 I will open it right click and copy now I will go to paint I will resize my picture to 96 by 96 so same size my arrow is and I will paste it so we can see that my arrow have black background and that is exactly what I want and next I will go save as and I will save it like arrow JPEG in 3D objects folder. Now I need to convert JPEG to format that can be read by TFT ASPI library. I will use this site. You can find link in description. It is very easy to use, so we will choose our file which is arrow JPEG. I will go make file, download it and I will save it as arrow.c. So here is my arrow.c. I will open this file in notepad, select all and copy whole content of this file now I can go back to my Arduino IDE and I will make new header file so I will click here new tab arrow.h I will write name of new file here and here it is new header file and I will just paste it here so now we have image 96 by 96 pixel let's try to draw it that picture on this screen first of we need to include this 
arrow.h and now we can use simple tft push push image location can be I don't know 2020 size is of course 96 by 96 and image is hold arrow and let's upload and after uploading we can see our arrow here and it looks very good because we have black background and background of our arrow is also black but let's try to paint our background in for example in purple let's upload and now we can see the difference our background is purple and our arrow have black black background also so we need to use sprites I will add this part of code so we created sprite and I will call it arrow arrow sprite in setup part of code I will add create function And I need to put size here. I will put exactly the same size like my image, so 96, 96. And now I can instead drawing this image to screen, I can draw it to sprite arrow sprite push image but now I need to push it to zero zero coordinates because my sprite is same size like image so I need to start drawing it at beginning and to show this sprite on screen there is function push push sprite and here I need to put coordinates so let's say 40 40 and upload okay we have our uh, arrow sprite here but colors are in mess so I will need this same function after creating arrow sprite I will also need set swap bytes true to that arrow sprite let's upload and now we have our sprite but we are <laughs> still on same position so trick to make this sprite transparent is to add here color which will not be drawn so in this case we don't want to draw black color so I will add TFT black let's upload and now we have nice and transparent sprite which looks great but there is one problem if we want to move that sprite we will we will have a problem so 
I will show you what is the problem. If we want to move sprite, we will need to move our code to loop region. I will need one more variable int x, which will represent x position of sprite. So in each cycle, I will go in each cycle I will draw fill whole screen with purple with purple I will push image to arrow sprite on position X I will no sorry zero zero I will push sprite on position X on screen and I will for example increment X and if if is larger than oh my god larger than 330 x is equal minus 100 let's try to upload this So, we have a problem with flickering. Trick to do this right is to use instead this TFT function, we'll use another sprite, which will be a large background sprite. and background I will copy this will uh, be size of the whole screen so I will fill background whole background sprite I will fill background sprite with purple I will push image to arrow sprite and I will push arrow sprite to background sprite so now I will use push to sprite and here will be pointer to pointer to background and at the end I need to push show whole background sprite position is zero zero because our background sprite is size of whole screen so we have two sprites background which is large, a large sprite and arrow sprite which is small and we will push that arrow sprite to background sprite and then we will push background sprite to our display I hope this makes sense let's try to upload and now it's looking much better so we have now transparent sprite without that black background and let's see how to add transparent text I will add 
one more sprite txt txt sprite then also we need to create in setup region let's say um, eighty by eighty and trick is also to txt txt sprite mm. background color also need to be black yes. set text color so foreground color I will TFT sorry TF T I will make it white and background color TFT black black Black. Now I will go TXT. Oh, sorry. I will fill whole sprite with TFT black and I will draw TFT. I will draw a string to it, which will be value of x and location is 0, 0 and size, let's try a big size, size 6. And here I have, here I will need also TFT sprite push to sprite and also I will push this to let's just copy it also I will put uh, push this to background sprite but now location will be for example 150 and also we will not draw black color let's try this sorry the XD sprite And now we have our transparent arrow, transparent text without that black. I hope you learned something and that this will be useful. If you are planning to make games, this will be very useful to you. Thank you for your time. If you are first time here, please subscribe. I will leave this code in the uh, description so you can download it and try it. You can play with it. Thank you. Please subscribe. Please watch few of my other videos if you have time. And if you if you want, you can always buy me a coffee. Link is also in description thank you have a nice day i will see you soon goodbye